YouTube. Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I'm Pastor Joe Fox. More in the uh, saga of the trailer, if you will. We've done some tests, and uh, right now, and again, I'm always welcoming comments. I don't know if these are the old style valves or the new style valves. Can't tell. There's some propane in these, and obviously, uh, if these will work, I want to use these. But for the purpose of testing, I just hooked up a blue Rhino bottle for the system that, that was already here. These hoses actually look like they're in decent shape. And uh, we tested the, wow, it's windy out here. It's a mess in here. We tested the stove and uh, the furnace, and they both work. Oh, I have them turned off now, so I can't show you. But the stove and the furnace work. I haven't figured out the uh, oven yet, how to make that work. And then the furnace is down there, and you can see that I've got everything torn apart again. And what I have to do now is get it all picked up, cleaned up, put back together because it's going to be a guest room for a couple days. But let me show you what I did. Over here, this was a bench uh, and it can fold out into a single bed. And underneath it is storage and there's a water pump right there. Didn't know if that water pump worked. It had some nasty wires hooked up to it. It was just terrible. I mean all kinds of just <laughs> different wires and they went back here to this piece of carpet was laying back here and it had a stain on it where you could tell it had a battery and I'm like hmm so we just hooked up my lawnmower battery and it worked and it, the pump worked and uh, water started squirting out out of my sink that's back there and the shower but there was another problem this sink right here Look what somebody did in here. I mean, that's just terrible. And water started coming out of there too, all over my floor and everything. And so basically, this is all janked up. I've got to replace this. There used to be a hot water heater in here, propane hot water heater. It has already been taken out by somebody prior to me. And, uh, they just didn't do a good job when they did that and so you couldn't run any water without water squirting everywhere so what i think i'm gonna do i had somebody here advising me um they suggested that i just do more copper pipe copper pipe up here to the sink uh, but i don't think i'm gonna do that right here i don't know if you can see that here's a water hose right here and it goes into an adapter that goes into the copper pipe and uh you know, I think I'm just going to try and go plastic all the way, rubber hose, whatever, all the way. I need to go talk to the hardware people and see what they can do. Also, this right here, this is a uh, gray water tank. The water comes out of the sink drain, comes into this tank, and then you can pump it out. Um, underneath that was this huge mouse nest right here. It's all nasty. Every time I find a new hiding space, I find dirt and filth that I need to clean up. So that's what I'm about to be about today. I've got to clean out all the mess in here, all this dirt, um, get this trailer put back together in some semblance of order. The good news is uh, I plugged in the 110 power. There's a, an adapter in the back there on the outside and I plug that into my extension cord and this whole puppy powers up. The air conditioner works. Uh, I pulled out the refrigerator that was over here and there was a microwave over here pulled them out put them in my house uh, because I don't think when I actually park this trailer to be a cabin that it's going to be hooked up to the grid right away I've been reading some stuff though on solar power batteries um, converters that kind of thing I, I need to do some more research on that I'm probably gonna go that route I just got a really good deal on a generator yesterday um, a friend of mine gave me a friend's price on it, and it's a little 2.5k generator on a little cart. I'm probably going to incorporate that into my solar battery uh, power options in the trailer. But right now, this thing's a mess, and uh, when I'm done cleaning up and picking up today, I'll show you another picture. Uh, so hopefully you'll think that I don't treat my guests too terribly when they show up. So, that's it for this part of the tape. I'll see you later. Y'all all right so we have some issues here so you can almost see daylight through there if you push down on here see whoop, where am i if you push in on there that's loose and kind of janky uh there's a hole right here somebody bored through you can see the gravel down below and this uh 
what is this linoleum is kind of curling up because it's old I cleaned out in here washed it vacuumed it um, look at this mess right here where am I see this and what that is if I can back up that's the wheel cover you know the wheels are underneath there and uh, that's just insulation and stuff coming out this is nasty that goes down into the wheel well and so all that needs to be covered up I think what I'm gonna do I've just washed it I'm letting it dry I'm gonna get some uh, duct tape and I'm just gonna start covering over these things and these seams uh, with duct tape and we'll see how that works I might staple that down uh, down here this linoleum I might staple that down I washed off the hoses they look like they could probably use another washing I just want everything to be clean and look nice uh, so that's that for that hole right there which you know it's about what is that two inches maybe I was gonna just put duct tape over it but then I was worried about moisture and stuff coming up and eventually weakening the seal of the duct tape and just not being a great fit and uh, I'd like to eventually just get a plug to go in there but for I think a better temporary fix than just plain duct tape what I'm gonna do here is I just cut out the corner of a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna put the duct tape over that and then put the whole thing over the hole all right so I have it all taped up all the ugliness all the air infiltration hopefully and, and dirt and grime and stuff that comes in here uh, hopefully that's taken care of talk about this pump a little bit like I said this pump was just a rat nest of wires and there's basically a positive a negative and I guess a neutral that comes off of that thing somebody else was over here the other day and uh, they hooked up new wires to it and the way this thing is supposed to work it's supposed to be able to go to a battery uh, that sits right in there and also hook up to the AC power supply via this switch which is on the side there well when I hook up the battery it works but it doesn't work when I hook up the AC so I've got some fuses to check and other things but for right now this compartment's clean I've kind of closed off the uh, the air infiltration that brings the dust and crap in here and uh, right now I'm going to close it all back up and make a bed out of it so that's it for this compartment for this iteration all right I worked in here for several hours today and uh, cleaned it up I found out that when I leave these windows open which I've been doing to air it out because it smelled bad uh, dust comes in and just coats everything so I've got the windows closed up the air conditioner will work somehow gotta, oh I gotta plug it in outside all right um, anyway I cleaned up looks nice smells good even made my buddy a bed painted this shelf doesn't smell too bad like paint I want to do more painting in here but I didn't want to overwhelm him with paint I don't know if you can see it here but I put screen up here uh, bugs and wasps and stuff could fly in there I'd already put screen up in the top vent it's not a permanent solution it's just to keep the bugs out for now clean the bathroom and uh, here I'll show you my water tank Let's see if you can see it see that it looks like it's about a 13 gallon blue tank and uh, I'm gonna try and fit a 33 gallon in here and see if that will work or maybe figure out a way to rig these things in series uh, when I tried my pump the other day <laughs> I assumed that the uh, bungs were tight they were not and water started squirting out all in here but uh, now it's tight and it works and it holds about I guess 13 gallons all right so uh, where am I there we go hey <laughs> I'm tired it's time to eat dinner and uh, I'll see y'all out there